Welcome back, Final Fantasy XIV. Let's talk to Hilda again. See what her cronies are up to today. Snouts down, tails up. All right, we got the experience, the gill, and Hilda has a letter for you from Ross and Abby. Where have you been, sick man? I've been itching to open this letter from Rasanade, but he's addressed it to you. Come on, let's hear what he has to say. Mystery solved. I took a good look at that deck and Velman's stock, and the firearm is one of theirs. Luminosa has some bloody strict regulations on the export of firearms, so our bandit chief must have had a back alley supplier. Get your arse up to the Melosa, and we'll find out who put that weapon in our thieves' hands. I'll be at the at the line on the lower docks. That's not it. So, he's on the trail then. Good. Just let me get my gear, and we can be off. What? You're going with Tickman? Is that really a good idea? I'm with Sim on this one, Hilda. If the leader of the hounds starts... Picking quarrels on foreign soils, we could be looking at all sorts of trouble for Ishgard. Ishgard's where the bloody trouble started, and since when half folk of the broom be content on sitting back and let others handle the dirty work. I'm going and that's the end of it, but I promise I'll be on my best behavior. All right, to let us we go to the lower decks. See y'all, ladies and gents, later. Boom. Teleportation activated. There he is, Rasanati, Hilda. Thought I'd find you here. What's that sour look for then? What in the bloody hell is she doing here? I put your bleating name on the letter and all. I need to see this through. If I don't, then what are the hounds good for? You just have to humor me. I was aiming to avoid political complications, seeing as Tick Man and me aren't tied too tightly to any one nation. You're just lucky I have a soft spot for fools but ignore the risk to make a point. Let's get to it then. The bloke most likely to have supplied that farm is the same bastard who tried to buy the sword, our black marketeer friend. If we're lucky, he might have an idea of where the brigands run off to. I have a mind to squeeze. I'm until an answer pops out. I, I'd like to have a word or two with that bandit leader myself. He's a lucid. <laughs> what needs tying up? Then, we're on the same page. According to me sources, we should find the merchant in that anchor yard. Let's go over there and get this business over with. So, to the anchor yard. Looks like they went that way. Where are they? Oh. So let's go to... The Apt Castle. And then we should be able to get to them. All that noise coming from over there. Somebody trying to be a musician. They better read the fine print. Don't make nothing on this game. Because they'll take it, they'll use it, and then they won't give you anything for it. Even though you put your creative efforts into it. 
Now, where are we headed? Let's go through this room right here. Let's get some speed going on. Jump. Jump. Get down on everything. Everything looks so tiny from way up here. I like how they built in and through the cliffs. Oh, there's the black marketeer. You ain't getting away this time, matey. Best start talking before I start cutting. Good day to you, Master Merchant. How about we have us a little chat, eh? Well, if it isn't the, the, the hounds, was it? What can a humble peddler such as myself do for Ishgard's finest? Huh. Help us capture the bandit leader. Interesting. Or tell us where the bandit leader is hiding. We'll go with help us. I am but a humble merchant. Surely I would be more hindrance than help in such an investigate. If you're not feeling helpful, then maybe I should pay a visit to the Yellow Jackets. And mention the firearm your very customer was using. Or mayhap I just skip straight to them as opposed to code. And now let's not be too hasty, mayhap. I can make an exception in this case in exchange for your silence regarding my uh, trade in exotic weapons. I believe the gentleman in question has a camp at Province Point in the Central Highlands. That is where I would look. Province Point, eh? Well, it's a start. If you're playing us false, I'll be back to feed the crabs with your lying tongue. In fact, if I ever hear of you dealing in stolen goods again, you can add a few more body parts to that list. Nice doing business with you. Got him. Got anything more to say? Never accept a deal from a client you know not about. But that woman offered me so much gold. I ignored my own rule. Ah, my hap it is time I retired from this business. A woman, you say? Oh. I forgot I was even in that duty waiting. <laughs> oh well. Go to the Cortelius. Maybe we'll find out something around here. Okay, so he sits casually, and then when you go, puts his little hand and just kind of braces himself. Is that new? I don't know if it's new or not. Oh, the bandit leader. Snowflake. What? How did he... Uh, you signed your own death warrant coming here. You again. Well, tame trauma. You ain't nothing for this boy. Oh, they are pretty tough, though. Look at them. What level are they? 68? And 70? Don't worry, we got him. Got the choo choo boo with us. Next. Gods, no. I killed me, precious. 
I came running when I heard the shots, but it seems you had things well in hand. Shoot, you better believe it. Oh, bugger me. There's more of you. Please, I'll do anything you ask. Just don't kill me. Stop your blubbering, Kerr. We ain't going to kill you. Not just yet, Enduro. That depends on the answers you give us. Answers? What's he on about, sick man? Uh, the identity, the identity of the bandit's employer. Wait, it weren't the black market bloke? Hmm. I guess he'd have wanted more than just the sword, eh? The mother brigands we captured were bloody clueless. They only knew what the job was, not the who or the why. Meaning the whole deal was made through this bastard. Start barking, dog, and ye might just save your own item. We, we, we was pirates once. That is until the bitch admiral passed her bloody law. Bloats like us, though, we ain't cut out for the honest work. We'd almost drunk through the last of our plunder when the black alley peddler showed up with some... Overpainted witch. Said she had a job for us. The redhead. All we had to do was uh, fetch a special sword from the Holy See. Ha. Huh. For the purse she offered, we'd stolen the whole bleeding vault. And who was this woman? Part of the deal was we didn't ask no questions. Even the merchant didn't know her real name. It was odd, I. But we needed the coin, and I didn't rightly care either way. The job itself was easily as taken at this. She then paid for me to have a firearm to use, and sent us down a route where we didn't see no guards. Through the gods only know how she managed that trick. All we did was follow her map, then shoot the locks on the vault. Walked in, grabbed the sword, walked out. Bold as you please. The trouble came after the delivery was made. She gave the blade back to you? Aye. She sent for me again the day after, pushed the sword back into me, hand along with a sack full of coin. She said, said she'd make a mistake or something, and that I should sell the damn thing. Well, I ain't fool enough to try to fence a relic like that on me own, so I went back to the merchant. You were fool enough not to properly burn your contract for sale. How do you think we found you the first time? Contract for sale? What in the hell is he talking about? Think I'd leave a deal like that an ink for the whole world to see? Things are starting to make sense now. There's just one little problem with your story. I told you the truth, I swear. It was a witch what puts us up to it. Aye, that bit I believe. What catches me in the crawl is her reason for handing back the sword. That was no mistake. And us finding that contract or sale this bastard says never wrote was no mistake neither. No, he was led by the noose to reclaim protein before it was sold. And the quickest way to learn the why of it might be to ask the blade itself. Would you mind carrying this piece of all fall back to Ishgard, Rosnall? Come with me, sick man. We need you to pay us a visit to Muscadian and convince him to take a closer look at the sword. It's a fake, isn't it? Sounds like a fake. So let's go speak with Sir March then at the Congression of our Heaven Knights Most Heavenly, or whatever that word is.
All right, get that map out of here. Let's get up these stairs. Let's go interview this guy. Something ain't right. Something just isn't sticking with me. Just getting, I got some questions. That's a tick man. And may I, uh, you again. Was there some choice in salt you've forgotten to spit at me during our previous meeting? Truce, must again. I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. I see. So you believe that hunting may have been altered in some fashion before you were allowed to reclaim it. It's a bit too bloody convenient, don't you think? Maybe I'm wrong, but I'd rather look the fool than risk summit happening at the ceremony. We need to check that sword. I must admit, your passion confounds me. The blade is recovered and your hounds have done their duty. Why bother pursuing such a faint suspicion? Why willingly endure the presence of a man you so clearly despise? Oh, I, I hate your bleeding guts. But once we take on a job, we do the damn thing right. Dickman gave his all to save Ishgard. How could I look him in the eye if I let our pretty feud get in the way of my duty? Such pride. I've not seen this side of you before. It is as you say... If there's truly is some flaw or trickery in the blade that disrupts the ceremony, the consequences could be grave indeed. And yet, there are rules in place which prevent me from simply handing Harleting over to the house. Furthermore, our resident blacksmith has already inspected the recovered weapon and declared it sound. Even so, we should Oh, no, no. Even so, I will call upon Lord Stefanin to conduct an independent examination. A machinist may notice a detail that a blacksmith would overlook. I trust this can be accomplished with the requisite discretion. Yes, sir. Very good. As far as the release of hurting is concerned, the manufacturing is a sanctioned facility. Bureaucrats will be satisfied even should I secure the necessary permissions after the fact. I should begin making the arrangements. Well, that's that then. Let's get back to the broom and tell the news to rush now. The broom. All right, where's our shortcut? Is that it right there? Is that the gigantic drawbridge? It is. How many people you know that can run downstairs? You no, know, our president can trip upstairs. But that's beside the point. Invisible wall, I hate him. Visible wall. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, we can walk on this. That's pretty cool. Keep one and near your weapon. Sick man. My guts say this business ain't over by a long shot. Back then, are you? I don't really know what the story was with that sword, but Hilda seems happy with what we did. And that's good enough for me. Or Stephanie will get to the bottom of this. You'll see if he doesn't. Best thing we can do is get back to our drills and leave him to it. 
Most skating is not known for his love with the lowborn. I didn't expect he just... I thought I'd have to put up more of a fight. Is what I'm saying. Well, Sora's with the manufacturing now. So I have no complaints. That's where I meant to take it in the first place. Now we wait. But don't get too comfortable, Tick Man. Things are sure to come to a head soon enough. And that's it. Snout's down, tails up. Experience and kill. So come on back tomorrow. We'll hit that next quest. Level 70. We've caught up with our current level. But until then, y'all take care.